Hello friends. Welcome to my new design pattern tutorial series video. Today, I will teach you, how to implement observer design pattern in Java. Friends. The observer design pattern is a behavioral design pattern. It defines a one-to-many dependency between objects, so that when one object changes state, all of its dependents are notified and updated automatically. Let's see it through a use case. Friends. You must have visited Amazon shopping website. Let's say there are two customers, Dinesh and Vijay. Both want to purchase iPhone 6. They browse to iPhone 6 page and see a message as, iPhone 6 is out of stock. Amazon does not want to make Dinesh and Vijay to feel sad. Therefore, it displays a message to them that, product is out of stock and provides a button as, notify me. Now what does this button does? Customer has to click and register to it. Let's say, both customers, Dinesh and Vijay register to it. After a few days. When iPhone 6 becomes available, a notification goes to customers, that iPhone 6 is available and you can purchase it. Both customer will get a notification and they will come to know that iPhone 6 can be purchased now. Let's understand it through a class diagram. Here, you can see there are two interfaces by name, subject and observer. Product class implements subject interface. And customer class implements observer interface. Here, you can see, a subject and observer has one to many relationship. Each subject can have many observers. And each observer has one subject to which it listens. Subject interface has three methods. Such as register observer, remove observer, Notify observers. Product class implements these methods. Here, product class has a list of observers and a string product name. Register observer adds observer to list of observers. Remove observer removes observer from the list. Notify observer method notifies each and every observer when state of subject changes. Moving ahead. Observer interface has one method. Such as. Update. Customer class implement this method. Here, customer class has an instance of subject and customer name string variable. Whenever subject state changes, update method gets executed. Through this method call actual notification occurs. Here, subject has a list of observers which is one to many relationship. And, observer class has a subject instance, which is one to one relationship. Let's see this working through Java code. Start NetBeans IDE. In Design Pattern Tutorial Java Project. Let's create a Java interface. Provide a name to it as, Observer. Keep it in a package as, com.hoverspot.designpattern.behavioral.observer. Click Finish. It creates an interface by name, Observer. Let's provide it a method signature as public void update taking in an string value, we will discuss it later. Let's move ahead and create a new Java interface. Provide a name to it as subject. Keep it in same package and click finish. Let's provide it three methods, which we discussed earlier, such as public void register observer, 
taking in an observer. Public void remove observer. Taking in an observer. And public void notify observers. After creating both interfaces, let's move ahead and create a concrete observer subclass. Provide a class name as customer. Keep it in same package and click finish. Make this customer class implements observer interface. It prompts us to implement abstract update method of observer interface. First let's create two instance variables as subject and customer name string variable. After declaring those variables, let's create getters and setters for those. Let's provide an implementation to update method. This update method takes in a product name as parameter to it. This product name will be passed by the subject as a notification when its state changes. I will just sys out. Hello. Customer name. Product name is now available on Amazon. Let's move ahead and create a new Java class. Provide a name to it as product. Keep it in a same package. Click finish. Make this product class implement subject interface. It prompts us to implement all abstract methods of subject interface. First let's create two instance variables as list of observers and product name string variable. After declaring those variables, let's create getters and setters for those. Let's provide an implementation to all below methods. Register observer method actually register an observer for notifications. This method takes in an observer as parameter. We will add this observer to the list of observers. Similarly, if observer does not want to get notifications, he can unregister itself through rem remove observer removed. In this method, we will simply remove the observer from list of observers. In notify observers method, suppose a particular product is available, notify observers method sends notifications to each and every observers registered to it. All the observers that are registered to this product, are stored in the list of observers. In this method using for loop, we will iterate over each observer in the list and call its update method. Also, we will pass product name string to it, so that observer comes to know which product became available on Amazon. 
In order to trigger this notify observers method, let's create a boolean variable by name, available. Create its getters and setters. In the setter method, if availability of product is true, then call notify observers method. So friends, we have implemented observer design pattern. Now let's see how it works through a test class. Let's create a new Java main class. Provide it a name as observer pattern test. In the main method, let's create this scenario. That is, two customers as Dinesh and Vijay. One product as iPhone 6. Make it currently out of stock. Make Dinesh and Vijay register as a observer, that is, when product will be available they will get notified. Let's create two customers as customer 1 and customer 2. Set customer name for both as Dinesh and Vijay. Moving ahead. Create a product by variable name as iPhone 6. Set product name as Apple iPhone 6. Let's make this product out of stock by making set available as false. As product is out of stock, let's make both customers register to this product so that when iPhone 6 is available, they should get notified. After above code gets executed, both customers are registered to notification. For simplicity, I will demonstrate only one to many relationship. Let's say after few days, iPhone 6 becomes available. For this, we will call set available method with value as true. If I run this Java class, set available method will call notify observers method and notify observers will send notification to all registered observers you can see on console it notifies both customers as apple iphone 6 is now available on amazon now suppose till iphone 6 becomes available Customer 2 goes to some other site and purchase iPhone 6. He comes to Amazon and make himself unregister for the notification. So, application calls remove observer method by passing in customer 2 instance. The Thus, now I run the Java class again. It sends notification to only customer 1. This is how observer design pattern works in Java. So friends, go through this video two to three times so that, how to implement observer design pattern in Java, concept gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com.